Well, TGIF, that means thank God it's Friday, everyone. Uh, I'm your host, John RMS, otherwise known as Ace Bullion. And well, Martin the Silver Trader has sent me in this coin right here to share and showcase with you guys. Now, this is a staple, a, uh, well, a foundational piece for any collector or stacker. Um, now, I'll explain a lot more. But, of course, as you can see from the title, it is the... 2024 Philharmonic one ounce silver coin. So, why is it so important? What's so special about it? And are you new to stacking? Because if you are new, you're gonna wanna hear this. If you've been stacking for about a year, you're definitely gonna wanna hear this. Um, and if you're a collector, of course, this still applies as well. So, stay tuned, we're gonna get into it, and uh, here we go. Oh, the humble Philharmonic. Gotta love it. Absolutely. From the um, Aus uh, Austrian Mint with uh, one pound, uh, oh, sorry, 1.50 uh, euros. Um, and uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. Now, there's the uh, orchestra or cathedral behind whatever um, on the front. And Yep, absolutely special and amazing. Now, I did say this has a lot of really cool meanings, and uh, there's a lot I'm actually going to be sharing with you. Now, what's really cool is that the first ever uh, Philharmonic one-ounce silver coin was minted in 2008. So, that's six years ago. If you can't do the math, if you can, then congratulations, you've caught up with me. Um... Now, there it is. We have a silver, uh, which of course is silver. And we have the uh, Weiner uh, Philharmonics with all of the lovely goodies that you have grown to love and expect. Now, why am I saying this is a staple? Well, let's first get to the basics. What is a staple? Well, if you start off stacking, a staple is something that is going to help you to get used to spending your money on something other than, let's say, a pizza, okay? Um, and just wasting your money away. And, you know, it, it's a really great start for people who are horrible with financial, um, you know, decisions where, you know, you get paid and it's suddenly gone. So... Uh, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. My father, however, uh, was a financial advisor and gave me a lot of advice, obviously, after my accident and uh, when uh, I had one heck of a lump sum and I invested, uh, oh, yeah, just over 10 years ago now. And uh, it, I, I'm grateful for that because um, essentially what it has done is it took the money out of my hands and put it into physical wealth I can, you know, sell it. Uh, where it's currently at, of course, I can just sell it at a drop of a dime. Um, there's, I don't have to worry about online and stuff like that. But if you're new to stacking, you may be wondering, is this really right for me? Well, you know, it's a physical uh, asset here. This is something that you can trade, you can buy, you can sell. It's just like having cash, really. Um, but it, it's also something that will increase in time i mean it i didn't bother with bringing out all the props i didn't bother bringing out tons of silver tons of gold and you know cash and everything else just to make it into a fancy video because i thought you know that's not the point of this and that actually kind of bugs me and that's gonna that's gonna bring me on to a point because i deliberately set out not to do that uh the philharmonic is one of the cheapest one ounce silver uh, coins you will be able to buy period with hands down it's a coin and it is uh, and i defy anyone to tell me otherwise a brand new this is the cheapest coin that you can buy you cannot buy maples cheaper you cannot buy um 
Kruger's, uh, Kruger is cheaper. You can't buy American Silver Eagles cheaper. You can't buy Britannia's cheaper, brand new, okay? You may find them much cheaper on the secondhand market where, of course, VAT or taxes don't apply. Um, but if you're doing everything above board and legal, then this is by far, and it is the cheapest coin you can buy. So if you're in the UK, for instance, and you and you'll have to be honest with yourself because I, I I can't speak for you, and you're horrible at budgeting or whatever, um, you know. Uh, but you you always have that little bit of money that you buy something really stupid on, whether that be an add-on for a video game or whatever. You know what? Buy one of these. It's I think at Martin's website it's about twenty-eight pounds something. Okay. Next month, buy another one. Okay. And accumulate them and then that comes to what we call a foundation now the foundation varies on to each and every person so um, you know for stackers and collectors they may be buying more than one of these at a time they may be buying you know two five ten uh, tube uh, even uh, maybe maybe a monster box of 500 of them okay for the extreme stackers um, or even more um, but usually those extreme stackers will be selling them to make a return. I get it. Why is, why is that? Well, because they've already had their foundation sorted. And if they're buying anything more than, let's say, 20, I'll guarantee you they're already into gold. And they have a foundation already established. And this foundation we're talking about means that, you know, they have something that, you know, if the, if TSH, uh, whatever, if it hits the fan, basically, okay, that they can, you know, return to and rely on, it, you know, and if they have to have a little bit of a loss, they're fine. Uh, established dealers, you know, like to sell these because, you know, they may not make a lot off of these, you know, like 50 pence or something, but you know, they sell very, very quickly. In fact, talk about selling really, you know, really quickly with these is that since 2008, okay, and, and this figure is probably a little bit outdated, but there was over 54 million ounces, okay, 54 million, and they call it units, so then these are ounces, okay, sold. The highest number was sold in 2011, where 18 million ounces were sold. Let that sink in, okay? I mean, I, I, I love going around and I love sharing and showing you guys all these wonderful coins and, you know, uh, bullion bits. And that, that's going to be uh, a mixture of the collectors and stacker side of things. So once, once you have your base where you have a comfortable amount, okay, where... You know, you can actually, if something really does go wrong, you're not going to have to sell anything. Um, it just may be a case of, oh, maybe I'll just won't buy that coin for your next month or those few coins. Uh, you know, so you've already gotten into a habit of buying these. And if, you know, you really need to, like you have a car repair or something, uh, well, maybe you could take one or two months off not buy the silver and maybe only then stick it on hypothetically on your credit card pay that off really quick immediately okay and then carry back on so there's no loss to you that's the point by the way about credit cards debt get rid of the dang stuff okay um focus primarily on debt forget about minimum payments all this get rid of it Okay, mortgages, yeah, we get it. Car payments, we get it. Credit card debt and unsecured loans, get rid of those dang things, okay? That is your nightmare, your nemesis, everything about this. And I'm not a financial advisor, and I can't stress that enough, but that is common sense, folks. Why buy these? Well, they're only going to go up in value. Let me give you a little clue here. All right, so about 10 years ago, in fact, actually 10 years ago to this day, silver had a high, okay, of 
21 um 70 well sorry within 10 years uh, time had a high of 2170 and it had a low of nine pounds and seven okay so that was 10 years um it's currently 17 pounds 99 when i ended up with my accident and stuff i was actually paying just under 10 pounds for an ounce of silver um now as i said i had a substantial payout so i'll I'm not going to go into that. That's my personal information. Gold, which I also bought, and we're not talking, you know, just a, a couple of ounces here, okay? On average, was about 720, and I didn't pay that. I paid less than that, okay? Uh, but it had a low at six pounds ninety, uh, sorry, six hundred ninety-four pounds, and the high uh, within the ten-year period was uh, one thousand six hundred forty-seven. So it's currently 1,589. So huge. I mean, it's a thousand pounds difference within 10 years. If you take a look at uh, a 10 year period of this, well, you, again, you're doubling your money. Now you, you look back on historic charts and it tends to be that way. Although what I've been looking at personally, and some of you guys may disagree with this, is that on uh, historically, if I kind of were to forecast this in 10 years, I'm not going to necessarily see silver be hitting, you know, $100 uh, dollars an ounce or £100 an ounce. I know a lot of people want to speculate that. Um, I, I don't see that. Uh, only because since, um, you know, uh, America came off of the gold exchange and everything else, it became kind of a norm again to have it as just another asset in case, okay? And uh, with all of that being said, I see it kind of almost stabilizing a, a little bit. So we're going to start seeing highs as we have been where, you know, silver can hit, you know, 21, 22 pounds an ounce and a low of usually about 18 pounds. I mean, at the moment, 17.99 when I first looked at it this morning was pretty low. Um, but foreseeable, let's say in 10 years time, it might be 29. But again, you're still gonna be, you know, winning with us. Um, and hey, if I'm wrong and it, let's say it goes to 49 or whatever in 10 years time, great. I really hope I'm wrong on that. But for new stackers, this is what you guys want to be buying, you know, guys and girls. For collectors, yeah, you still should be buying some of these as well, only just to kind of sit in the corner. I, I get it with, you know, with collectors. I'm a collector too. I like pretty things. I like sparkly things. Um, but having a little bit of base silver is really nice. And then once it comes to a time of gold, then, you know, you'll know when that time is. Trust me, you will know. Uh, if you've been saving up for a year as a, you know, a stacker, and let's say you only bought one ounce, you know, every month. Well, well done. Look at what you've achieved. That's 12 ounces of silver now. And even if you were to sell it, in, let's say in the UK, you could actually get at least 25, you know, um, pounds per ounce plus shipping, you know? So you're not gonna be losing out on anything. And especially when you go back and you take a look at what the price was when these first came out. Yeah, you've gained some money, guys. Um, so, that's all I can say, really. These are, a great start and a great way to build a foundation and uh, I really hope you know this message comes out clear because I didn't want fancy little gadgets and gadgets to you know give you a long list you know to showcase it it doesn't make any sense and uh, I'm really you know trying to obviously help out so if you guys have any problems questions or whatever feel free to ask again I'm not a financial advisor you can Check us out on the Precious Metal Forum. Ask away there. There's other, you know, many other people where they'll give you their opinions, their advice, um, what their history was and is. 
um, you know, and uh, that's that's about it. it. It really is. I mean, don't put yourself in debt. That's all. Really, all I can say. Debt is a killer, and uh, you know, if you need to kind of find a way out of the debt, um, yeah, this is get rid of the debt and start doing this. Give up smoking, give up drinking, do whatever, or I don't know, half it, whatever. And uh, you'll find that you're going to be much happier. I guarantee that. Because, you know, <laughs> who's not going to be happy when you're surrounded with, well, essentially duck tail stuff, you know. Hey, you can swim in your own coins. Actually, it takes an awful lot of coins to fill up a bathtub. I'm going to tell you that now. And, uh, yeah. That's all I'm going to say on that one, folks. Right. I shall see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend wherever you may be. Um, I'm sorry it's a longer video, but I really wanted to get my point across um, and let you guys see this. So thanks for watching. I'll see you Monday. Bye for now.